Hey guys, we are getting closer every day. We keep adding more and more machines. We now have a couple dozen big machines moving. We're coming up out of the ground. We're moving fast. We're gonna have hangers ready quick. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. Let's go ahead, dig in. This is when Spanish Fork as a city is going to step up and show you what true partners we are going to be to bring this airport and this new development to the project. Back to work! All right, it is time for an update on the airport development project. I'm so excited. We had a few little hurdles with any giant project you get to. I mean, there were just little things with permitting and processes. It delayed us a little bit, but the good news is we've got great contractors and we are pacing to catch back up to our re regular schedule. Right now we're a little behind. Hopefully we'll get right back up to it. The guys are working hard, long hours. There's probably 50 machines out here. You can see the piping all back here. I'm standing on building pad C, so there's a dozen hangers right here. You see the taxiways, the gravel behind me. Come along this way. Of course, you got Mount Temp, which we love right here. Another taxiway right here. There'll be another set of hangers over there, over there, over there. The park, putting area, greens, um, all the way over to the airport on that side. So um, I'm really excited. There's a lot done. Thousands and thousands of yards of rock and dirt and gravel and compaction. But right now, some of the heavy lifting, the hardest stuff to do is done. The big culverts are going in. We have to redirect a creek that runs through the Payde Aviation Park right on Main Street. So this is just one small part of our culvert work. We got concrete everywhere. Some of these things are so big, we had to lift them with two mega cranes just to get them off the trucks and on site. So we've got all the smaller ones out this way. Our water lines are being made on site. They're getting ready. Gravel keeps coming in, pipe keeps coming in. It's going in the ground as fast as it's showing up. Let's get one of the funnest aviation parks done. This is really cool. All kinds of places out here because of the water table. We're going the extra mile. There are lots of places on this airport that didn't go so far to put this expense down, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Put down this extra layer of mesh where we're gonna have heavy traffic, then bring in the engineered big, large rock and compact it as we come up. But this actually will come up as I'm looking at the manhole behind the guy with the camera, almost that high to get up to origin to final grade and that's going to be done all with big heavy rock so there is a lot of infrastructure going in this keeps any of the more wet soils from wanting to shift and migrate up but quite frankly usually you just do about two feet of rock depending on what you got we went ahead and though we're going up this high we're putting the fabric down anyway so yes it's overkill those who work in this kind of soils understand no, we didn't have to do it on other parts of the airport. 
but I'd rather go overkill, do it right. Let's not mess with anything on the taxiways, roadways, anywhere in this. So where we think it's even close, let's go ahead, overkill it, spend that extra 10% money. Quite frankly, sometimes 10, 20% more cost, literally doubles the strength and longevity in life. So you guys know me, I love overkill. We're doing it on the development. We're doing it on the buildings, on the hangars, the taxiways. We're making them big, we're making them wide. We want this to be a comfortable airport you can pass other aircraft on. So that's a bit more infrastructure, but it's gonna be the greatest airport on earth. We're really excited about it. See you guys soon. done different here I'm really excited about to try on this airport is we've done something a little unique oftentimes you get to an airport and you end up driving through the entire airport around planes to get over to your hangar we designed this in a very different way right behind me right here is gonna be a big loop cul-de-sac that goes around in a giant park to hang out it's actually even though the park is wrapped with hangars it's outside of the airport where you can't interact with aircraft and the reason we did that is so that cars don't have to go drive through all the rows of hangars. What actually happens is you'll come in this big park area. This is a giant parking lot that's unique to just that building. So what's really exciting about this development is that building behind me not only has its own parking lot specifically to the building, but it has its own grand entry, its own restroom, its own kitchen, a little hangout area, TV, a giant flat screen. It's a community area for that row of hangers that will be keypadded and coded just for the few hangers on that row. So they're not having to park way off in the distance and hike around or drive through inside the airport. They can come in from the park, park right at their hangar door, meet and greet everyone, let everyone into the common area, and then go back to their hangar. So they get to have that million dollar entry, but it's shared with everyone just on that row. And that happens again right there. Behind me, you see the next parking lot for the next building with its own private grand entry. And it continues all the way down. So every row of hangars has its own grand entry where you can invite people, let them in, wait till everyone arrives, and then walk down a hallway inside the building, not through the snow and rain and cold or on a hot tarmac on a 110 degree day, but down a nice cool hallway into your hangar and depart from there. It's a lot it's a lot different than is typically done i think it's going to work out great so far it's selling really fast if you have interest or even if you're not in the area but you want a playground to bring your toys utah is the place utah county is the place you can take atvs legally right from here drive them out and take them up the mountains you can street legal your side by sides and hit some of the greatest trails in the world go snowboarding, hiking, camping, hit the waterfalls, hit the lakes, go fishing, bring your toys here, fly in, go play, fly back home. So if that interests you, hit us up. We've got a lot of people buying hangers from around the country because this is something different, something special. The Rocky Mountains is the playground for the United States. So we hope you join us, come get a hangar, hang out by me. We love this place. We're gonna have community gatherings, community flights, get bush plants, all go out together, all from this airport. So this is the place to play. We hope you come join us, pick up a hanger. You guys know the drill. Back to work. <laughs>